welcome to this step-by-step -step tech tutorial on how to get set up on Hootsuite and how to use it to um, maximize your social media presence. Um, so first we're going to create an account. Uh, so you just go here, sign up now and put in your email address and your name and then a password um, and then Press sign up now, and or you can sign up using um, Facebook if you know you want to connect uh, your personal profile. So you press sign up now, and then I'm going to connect um, a Twitter account for right now, uh, just just a blank Twitter account. Uh, you can go through and connect the other networks as well. Um, but just for right now, we're going to we're going to just connect this other Twitter account. And you'll see that. It should show up as being connected in any minute now. There we go. And so then I'm going to press continue. I'm just going to leave Facebook and LinkedIn because my accounts are connected to my real Hootsuite dashboard. Okay, so now we're being directed to the dashboard. So when you very first set up an account, you're going to get this getting started message. Um, this will kind of walk you through a tour um, of how to add social networks, compose a message, um, create new tabs, that kind of stuff. But I'm going to walk you through the basics myself. So when you open up your account, feel free to to dig into that. But I'm just going to I'm just going to put this message away for right now. Okay. So now Hootsuite sort of pre-sets up my um, Twitter tab here. So you can see this is my blank uh, Twitter account and it, it says Twitter in back brackets and they put in um, a bunch of um, columns by default. So here in the first column you have your home feed and this is um, the feed of every single person that you follow with your Twitter account. So whether that's five people or a thousand people, all of the people's updates will show up in this home feed. As you follow more and more people, you'll realize that it's very hard to keep up with their updates and you're probably only seeing like a small percentage, um, which is why I don't spend a lot of time in my home feed, but it's a good way to, you know, keep tabs of everyone that you're following. The second, uh, the second field that you'll have is, um, is your mentions, which is where people say at Jackie Johnstone or at, in this case, test underscore Jackie. Um, and we'll take a look a little bit more at that when we dive into my own Hootsuite account, which is already set up. But I just want to show you in here quickly how to um, how to to add some new some new streams. So you just click up here if you want to add a new stream, which is a new column. That's what Hootsuite calls streams. So you would click Add Stream, um, and then you have choices about what kind of stream it is. And depending on which networks you have connected to your Hootsuite, you'll have different choices. So we've only got Twitter connected for the moment, and so we can see that that shows up here. And you can select any one of these types of feeds. So we've already got the home feed, and we already have mentions. Um, this stuff all shows up by default. If there's favorite, if you favorite tweets and you like to bookmark things that way, then you can maybe add that stream. So you just press the plus button, and you'll see that um, the stream. Oh, that so that stream has just showed up here. I know they're all empty in the moment, but we'll just we'll just come back to that in a second. So so that's how you add a stream. So it's really simple. Um, I'm going to just go into my own Hootsuite now, so you can see what it looks like when you have real accounts connected. So just give me one second. Okay, so here we are in my Hootsuite dashboard. Um, you'll see here on the left we still have the home feed column or stream just like we did in the um, in the brand new account that I created and next I have my mentions where people are um, responding to me or talking to me um, and then in my third column I have a list so this is a list that I've created on Twitter this one is called um, entrepreneurs and I keep a collection of inspiring entrepreneurs that I come across on Twitter um, I add them to this list and then it makes it easier for me to see their tweets. Because I follow so many people in my home feed, sometimes tweets get lost. And so when I'm focused on a specific subject or a specific group of people, I really like to create lists in which I can sort of segment uh, the people I follow on Twitter. So I follow all these people on Twitter, but they are also in my entrepreneurs 
list so I can see more of the updates that they post than, than if they were just in my home feed. Um, and then next to that, my next stream is a search stream. Um, and this is a specific hashtag. This is the Bordeaux hashtag. So I live in Bordeaux, France. Um, I just moved here a few months ago. And Bordeaux, the Bordeaux hashtag is what people in the city use to talk about stuff that's going on in the city, weather, traffic, news, all that kind of stuff. So if I monitor what's being said on the Bordeaux hashtag, I not only can find other people who are tweeting from Bordeaux, but I get all kinds of news and information that I wouldn't necessarily get. So these people in this feed, I do not actually follow on Twitter normally. These are just people who are tweeting using the Bordeaux hashtag, just like that. Um, so this is a search stream. So these, these different columns here, these four columns, um, are all different types of streams. You can see here, if we scroll over, that I follow um, expat branch search streams. I have a, a search stream for a business program I was in. I have um, another Twitter list, and then I also have a few other housekeeping items like tweets that I've sent, uh, tweets of mine that have been retweeted, um, so I can I can know what's what's being popular out there, and then also direct messages that people send to my Twitter inbox. So I can't actually add any more streams within this tab, which is why I have this other tab that's called More Twitter Lists because I ran out of space. So in more Twitter lists, I have more Twitter lists, but I also have some other streams like, let's just go over here really quick, favorite tweets. So tweets that I've marked as a favorite, I use that as a way to bookmark things to remember to go back to them, um, and tweets that I have scheduled in Hootsuite. So I can add streams in here, I believe, because I don't think I'm at 10. Right, so now it'll bring up the add stream box. Um, and we're just looking at Twitter for this moment, and here's the profile, my at Jackie Johnstone Twitter account that I have associated with Hootsuite. And you can have more than one Twitter profile associated with your Hootsuite. Um, I don't, but you can. And so you would select the profile that you want uh, to an ad stream for, and then you'd select the type of stream. So we talked about what well, we've got the home feed stream, a mentions stream, you can have your direct message box. Um, tweets that you've sent, tweets that you've favorited, um, scheduled tweets, all that type of stuff. Um, but what I think is really cool is the search, uh, the search uh, stream. So this is where you would add um, a hashtag or search term that you'd like to monitor. Um, and this can be anything from your specific city or town for information or if there's a keyword that your customers talk about a lot in their business. Um, or if there's a conference that you're at and there's a hashtag for the conference and you want to be able to monitor um, all of the tweets that are coming on that hashtag, then this is the place where you would put it. So if I wanted to, um, to monitor everything that was hashtag social media, for example, I'm not even sure if that's a really active hashtag, but we can search for it and we can click add stream. And so that's going to, there we go, pop in a new stream. And it appears that, yes, this hashtag is in use. There's quite a few tweets on it. It looks like a lot of spam to me. <laughs> so I'm probably not going to keep this search stream. If you want to delete the stream, you can just go in the top right corner and click delete stream. Yes. Um, it's the same thing if you want to add a list, whether it's a list a Twitter list that you've created or a Twitter list that someone else has created um, that you are following. So you would go under lists and again I'm going to click my Twitter profile and these are the lists that I have um, created already, the entrepreneurs list which you saw earlier. Um, I have an expat list um, which was in, in the other tab and then there's also lists that I subscribe to. So these are these are people who have created lists around a specific subject matter or event, and I subscribe to these lists because they interest me. Um, the way to subscribe to and create lists is actually on the Twitter.com uh, website in that interface. Um, we're not going to go into that in this tutorial, but you can give it a Google, or I'm sure I'll be doing another tutorial and another post on Twitter list if you're more interested in that uh, a little while down the road. Okay, so now that we've kind of got our... Um, Twitter set up, 
you can click into, you can see this next tab, I have Facebook. Um, and Facebook also has different streams that you can add. Um, I can see the most recent posts that my friends have put, um, friends and, and business pages that I follow um, have post, put in the news feed. I can see posts that I've posted on my wall. Um, and I can also see scheduled posts. Any posts that I create in, um, in Hootsuite to post to my Facebook profile or page, you can add them both. Um, then this is your scheduled, uh, your scheduled stream, which is for me the most important. I almost never consume Facebook through Hootsuite, like I'm always in the Facebook newsfeed itself, but I use it to schedule posts, and so it's a great thing to see, to modify, that kind of stuff in here. Um, and then I also have my LinkedIn um, connected here. And once again, in the LinkedIn, you know, you've got your, basically your news feed or all updates, and then you've got your updates, the things that are showing up on your LinkedIn thing in itself. But you can also add the stream, and we'll just do it here, for scheduled updates on LinkedIn, because this is going to be important if, you, if you're using Hootsuite to schedule statuses to push to LinkedIn. So now that we have our Hootsuite um, set up and we've got the different tabs, um, with the different networks, and you've um, you put in some columns for lists or searches. Um, how do you uh, compose a message and schedule it? Uh, because that's one of the, the most important um, things that Hootsuite lets you do is um, sort of batch, write, and schedule posts, as I was talking about in um, in my social media time management blog post. So the way that we do that is we go up here to this little white box that says Compose Message, and we type in our message. Now you can see here on the left, these are the different accounts that I have associated. So right now, this is posting to my Twitter account, and I can select all um, or none of these accounts. Obviously, you need to have at least one account in order to send it. But um, So we'll start with Twitter first. I'll put my Twitter account up there, and we'll start, um, we'll compose a post here. And I'm going to use I'm going to um, use the Hootsuite handle so that they know that I'm uh, I'm creating a a post about them. And then I would want to add a link here. Now I don't have the blog post link yet, but I'll just put my website in. And then you um, and then you just press the shrink button, and it automatically makes one of those um, little short URLs, which takes up less characters. Um, speaking of the characters, here you have um, the, you know, uh, Hootsuite keeps track for you. So it says I have 80 characters left for, um, for my Twitter update. So I could, add, um, I could add a hashtag or some more comments to this. But anyway, we're just going to um, go down here now. I, can, I could add an image um, or location if I wanted, but what I really want to do is schedule. So now I'm going to click this little calendar button, and you'll see that I get um, I get a calendar, and I can pick any um, date and time in the future. So I'm just going to um, pick uh, next Wednesday, let's say, 5.05 uh, .05 p.m. sounds good to me. And then I'm going to click Schedule. And it says Message Scheduled. So now I want to see that message just to make sure my scheduled messages are in this tab at the end here. So you can see all of um, all the tweets that I have scheduled, and they're in reverse order. Um, and I can see the time, and if I need to edit it because I've made a spelling mistake or I need to update the link, then I can go in there, or if I, I can also delete it by pressing the little X. So we've scheduled our first tweet. Uh, you can do the same thing for, um, for Facebook. So again, you just go into the little white box, and I would write... Um, I would write my status update. I'm not going to use the at or any hashtags here because um, that doesn't really work on Facebook, which is another reason why I tend to do um, separate status updates as opposed to, you know, clicking and posting the same um, link to two networks. So here we're going to select the little Facebook icon. Um, and again, I would want to add a link. And Hootsuite's going to do... Um, a really cool thing when we add the link is show me the actual preview of what it's going to look like on Facebook. So you can change the headline and the blurb that shows up as well as the, um, the thumbnail. So once you're happy with that, 
um, then you can click the scheduling button again and you get the same um, the same uh, calendar. So I'm going to click next Thursday. Maybe we're going to send that out at 11 a.m. And then I'm going to click schedule again. And it's going to show up in my scheduled stream post under my Facebook tab. So once again, I can add it or delete before the post goes live. Okay, so then I can do the same thing for um, LinkedIn. So I can go over to my LinkedIn um, to pose my, um, my, my update. I've got the LinkedIn network selected. I've, I've got the, I type my link in. I press shrink. Um, and then my short URL shows up in here. And then I can go to scheduling um, and pick a time that I want it to go. And then I'll press schedule and it's going to show up here in my scheduled status update where when, once again I can add it or delete. Um, so that's it. That's how you um, set up and start scheduling, composing and scheduling messages with Hootsuite. Oh, but before we go, well, that's it. So that's how you schedule, um, compose and schedule, as well as start setting up um, your Hootsuite for all your different accounts and take advantage of the, um, the different types of columns that you can have um, streams, especially for Twitter. Uh, to allow you to uh, get a different um, get a different perspective um, on your social media. Oh, and I almost forgot to say that uh, one of the other great things about Hootsuite is actually um, inter being able to to see more about users and interact directly with them um, better than you can on the Twitter.com site. So, for example. When someone's mentioned in a in a status update, you can actually just click on their name, and it brings up a little this little box here um, that shows their bio with uh, you know their Twitter statistics and uh, their little Twitter bio, um, any links that they have um, on their on their Twitter feed. Um, but you can also click really quick on timeline to see like their latest tweet. So it's a great way of seeing um, seeing if when you discover someone of seeing whether you want to follow them. So you can have a you know five second look at them and be like, okay, that's interesting. I want to follow them. In which case, you can click the follow button. Um, you can also unfollow people through here, um, as well as direct message them, reply to them, or add them to a list, which I do a lot with my entrepreneurs list, for example. So if you want to reply to someone, you could just click right in there, and their handle would pop up, and you could type the tweet and press send, and that would reply to them. If you wanted to add them to a list. Um, then you press that and you choose from the list that you uh, that you run and then you um, then you would press save and they would be added to that list. I just wanted to share that because it's definitely it's definitely something that I use a lot and um, it'll let you see their latest mentions and tweets that they've favorited, which can be um, interesting ways of looking at people that you can't do through Twitter.com. So definitely do that um, if you're if you're using Hootsuite. Well, I think that's it for today's tutorial. Um, please let me know in the comments what you thought of this uh, of this type of step by step tech tutorial. If you liked it, what was clear, what wasn't clear. If you use Hootsuite and this gave you some new insights on how to use it better, I'd love to hear that as well. Uh, if you have any questions hit me up, I respond to every single comment. And please share this video, Twitter, Facebook, uh, wherever, with any friends, lovers, business partners that you think could benefit from it. I just want to help you all create a social media presence that you can be proud of.